I, I'll be joining the room in a second, surely. Everything is all good on my end. All right. There we go. This is the only one of these I've done for a Ganon Chord since uh, the Meat Brawler. Usually I've been uh, hosting the Meat Brawler JMU crew battles. But uh, today we've got one with Ganon and DLC Ganon. Kazuya. DLC Ganon is the way you're putting it. I like it's that. Just, it's two characters you hate to approach, but uh, Kazuya has like stuff he can do about it. Ganon kind of doesn't. Yeah. Kazuya is known to cheat, some people might say, but I call it a difference in skill sometimes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to juggle. Uh, I gotta post the uh, arena ID and such. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready. When you your stream link, I'll shoot that in my appropriate Smash Group too. Let them know. Alrighty. Uh, I posted the links in the Ganon JMU organization channel. Alrighty. The game is booting up. We are on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, hello, Darian. I am joined by Zugs, a Kazuya Accord moderator, right? Yes, I'm one of the co-winners, actually. And neither of us are playing in this crew battle. You, well, you're a sub. I, well, I'm i a sub-sub, so in the event case one of my players has something they can't... If, uh, they can't join, then I'll be like the last guy. I'm here too. If everything goes to shit, then we'll be in the arena together. That, that's the worst case scenario. Yeah, the worst case. The worst case. I'll just add my cord real quick. But uh, this is also our biggest Ganon crew battle in quite a while. We've got 7v7 for this. I don't remember. Wow. I think the last one we did was Fox, and that was a that was a shit show. We had. Uh, we had we had people joining the fox side halfway through the crew battle. Wow, that's that's crazy. Hello, Lonk. How you doing? Uh, the last crew battle I did for COD was actually against uh, one of my own Smash Bros, which I own. I own um, the Mario Discord, so that we ran, which was like a six three seven, and it it, it kind of was close, but the the. the we had some fumbles, let's just say that much. If you know, you know. I'm, I'm very glad to see we got this many players in uh, participating. It's very cool to see. I've been doing some friendlies throughout the week. I've played Kimono, and uh, Moxie is well known in Ganon Cord as a Kazuya main. Oh, wow. A very Moxie. scary Kazuya main. Hi, Moxie. Moxie is one of our goats. Moxie is Shout not outs. to be messed with, yeah. I am. Shout out to Moxie. That, that's my guy. That's my guy. Also, shout outs to uh, Moxie's husband, Malin. Happy to have you watching the stream. Still did not copy the arena. I, I misposted the. Okay, for reals this time. Got. I keep copy-pasting the wrong arena. <laughs> this is like the third time. Oh, finally. Okay, we're not, no, we're not gonna start yet, guys. Yeah, I, I bought a modded setup, so my loading takes a little bit longer, but I'm just about almost there. There we go. So cool, it's cool, cool, I get to see a CB with my uh, modded setup. Very nice, not uh, often I get to uh, see you guys. Well, they've gone ahead and started, so, uh... Oh. I was trying oh. to tell them not to, but, uh, it, it, I guess this is our first match. Elf King the Ganon versus Kimono the Kazuya. Awesome. 
Sorry. No, you're all good. You're all good. This will... I'll be able to see the next one. I'll just give some general thoughts about this matchup since I play both these characters. Uh, very, very annoying characters who generally want to get in your face, do a crap ton of damage, easily take your stocks. Kazuya is the, probably the more consistent one due to his high damage combo routes. Uh, Rage Strike being one of them, being a huge factor, and of all, can literally just take your stock within one hit. Unfortunately, both of them are terrible at approaching, so, uh, yeah. Contrary to believe, Kazuya's neutral is actually not all that great. Because if your approach isn't all that great, then you're going to have a hard time getting your game flow in. Same can be said for Ganondorf. It's all about how what you do and how you approach it. It's not unfair to say that, that uh, Kazuya has a much stronger advantage state, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So far, oh, we yeah. have traded one stock from each side. Kimono edged out Elf's first stock. Alright, one of my players, unfortunately, will not make a do to power but that is fine. We've got me and another sub on deck. Elfkane trying to ledge trap. Kimono gets back to center stage. Doing well to get back to stage after being launched into the air. Uh, that's a good place for uh, Ganon to keep Kazuya in the air above him. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh. What is the reversal throw? Because that is a death knell at almost any percent at uh, Gates of Hell. Ganon. Gates of Hell. Yeah. Gates of Hell, really good uh, command grab. Um, if you don't DI it right, 9 times out of 10, uh, most characters will die due to the angle it sends. Uh, if you angle it downwards towards the other stage, if you're able to tech it, you're fine. If not, if you do it poorly, uh, your chances of recovery are very slim, just like that what I saw on stream. Elf King just barely missed his, uh, just barely missed the stage with his dark dive. Alright. So, the Kazuyas lose one stock, and the Ganons are now down three. Alrighty, finally able to be in the room and spectate all that nonsense. Scores updated, we are now 20 to 18. Cool beans, let's go Kazuyas. Or Ganons, I play both these characters. A lot of crossover, surprisingly. I'm too dumb to play Kazuya. That's why I have you here. I don't know half his moves. Oh, I, I love Ka Kazuya. Was one of my uh, Tekken mains, actually. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I love Tekken, and I played Ganondorf for I'm, 12, 11 years at this point. But it's over a decade. Um, I love both these characters. Oh, you want to get in an old off, bro? I was there for Melee's release. Oh, I put Ganondorf Melee is 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 a fun character to behold. He's not great, he's not bad, but he definitely can make it work. Uh, what was I saying about Gates of Hell? Usually Ganondorf actually likes to be at ledge because he has one of the best ledge hang hangs in the game, and uh, it's a, it's a, often a lot a good place to aim for in neutral, despite the risks, but uh, it, I, you really gotta value center stage as Ganon versus Kazuya, just because it's so dangerous with Gates of Hell in play. Yeah, you do, because if you're near ledge at any point, um, Kazuya's a lot of options to negate Ganon from gaining stage control. The, the key point in this matchup, from my experience on both sides, is, is, is definitely stage control. Because Ganondorf wants to be in a position where he wants to be in your face and can contest that mid-range, at the same time not trying to get hit by one stray electric wind and just lose a stock or take like 80%. This song, uh, I think I put on Moonlit Wilderness, right? Yes, from Tekken 5. So overall, you gotta play that very, very tight mid-range. Kaz down, that's right, you can't, obviously you can't camp at ledge, because Kaz will just down smash you. Yeah, and among other things, he has really good ledge trapping, thanks to auto turnaround. 
We got game two. Mino and Yasma. Yasma, I think that's how you pronounce it. So the cause will SD. So they will take one stock off, just like that. Oh no, not the Ganon! I, I wonder if Yasmat hasn't been in a crew battle before. Oh, oh no 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 no! It's just uh guys, uh right, only there. the Kaz SDs. Yeah, y'all have to reset. Yo, excellent so, lag. Go. That uh, yeah, that doesn't look great. Yeah. So both y'all just SD. What we'll, we'll try again? Just only the Kaz will SD once. So, Yasmat, and anyone else who may not be aware, how a crew battle works is that each team has a collective number of stocks, and as we go through players, they will keep whatever stocks they finished the previous battle with. So, this match will begin with Kimono with two stocks, and our fresh Ganon, Yasmat, with three stocks. Assuming no one subs out, because, oh, this looks crusty. Oh, yeah, this lag is not it. I, I can even feel it too. I'm not even playing. It's emanating from my from my TV screen. Antarctica internet connection says Malin. Yeah. Um. Personally, I don't think it's playable in that state of lag, especially if it's being that consistent. Elf King is uh, saying the same thing, so we may get a sub out. All right. Okay. Yeah. Mono says, I'll take the lag over fighting Litany. There's one thing I'll say, especially playing both characters, I cannot attest with the lag. It sucks to be in. So what is the move that uh, connects into up smash? Is that electric wind god fist? Yes, that that's that's your bread and butter. The god move itself, electric wind god fist, comes out extremely quick. I don't know the exact frame details. Uh, Kazir is invincible through the duration of the move. Um, very, very, very difficult move to overall to contest. Uh, most What's of the, the time, window for that connection into up smash. Um, typically it's a very forgiving window, and plus with the DI, and most of the time you're going to be able to connect it consistently, regardless of the percentage. But overall, you're going to usually use Electric Wind God Fist as the move, as Us Mess is your ender, typically, for the combos. That's what I thought. It seems to, it seems to go into the other forever. Granted, yeah. Ganon is a heavy, large body, so... Yeah, typically the combo route usually goes something like a grab starter or electric wind starter, and then you go from like nair into like to like electric wind to another nair electric wind, then you go into crouching rising, and then it goes to an electric. If you want to continue the combo, since Ganondorf is a bit heavier, and then to an up smash, if the DI is read properly. If not, your other option select is an up B or any other stronger move that will either take the damage or take the stock. That's another thing I struggle with against Kazuya, is that usually I uh, I tend to up special Dark Dive more than other Ganons, and he has so many iframes that even that's not viable in a lot of cases. Yeah. The thing in this matchup, especially, the, the only thing I can say about Along with this can be any character, but when you're getting comboed by Kazuya, your main saving grace is if they drop it and your DI. Your DI and SDI will count towards your risk of either you take the amount of damage or you lose the stock. And given that Kazuya has option selects, uh, especially if platforms are a factor, and of course said DI if you go go on in, you go on right or away. Uh, but due to the fact that Ganondorf is a heavyweight and a big body, it's a lot more easier and consistent with your Kazuya combos than is with other characters. We had a uh, Ganondorf versus Bayonetta's not too long ago, so uh, the Ganons are no stranger to 
abundant SDI. Of course, her damage output is way lower than Kazuya's. Uh, so it looks like we're going to get it. it. Looks like. Let's see if we'll fight through the lag. Okay, it sounds like uh, Porog is Mal. No, they're still deciding what to do. Uh, should have asked this earlier. People in chat, how are the audio levels? I tested ahead of time, but uh, should be me and uh, Zugs here a bit louder than the game. You can hear both of us all right. How's my beautiful voice down, y'all? Am I good? Am I good? People say it's good. Awesome. Someone keeps screaming in chat, Go FD! Go FD? <laughs> uh, yeah. The the main thing is, you never want to take Kazuya to FD. Even as a Ganon player myself, if I um, if I was Ganon, I would refuse to take a Kazuya to FD. If I was a Kazuya, on the other hand, going against a Ganondorf, I wouldn't mind going to FD. Going FD is basically a death sentence. Unless you are confident and your overall, your neutral exchanges, and your confirms. Contrary to belief, uh, it's not Kaja's best stage, in my opinion, but it's one of his strongest. Just okay. overall, it's it's a lot. He gets a lot more consistent setups, thanks to platforms not being a factor of not being able to option select. Uh, what the first tech? How do you feel about having a uh, a roof on uh, for Ikazia or Ganon? In this matchup, having a roof, as in the you know platform to uh, to stop oh. aerial and approaches. So, for both characters, it's pretty good. Ganondorf gets a lot of tech chases with side beat, the flame choke. If you're able to land that, it becomes a guessing game on your techs and of all the options you select. Because Ganondorf can usually get flame choke on platforms. You can either go for another based on the tech. And then if he doesn't go for, like, another flame check, you can just go for, like, an F-Smash or Up-Smash based on if they do get up attack or roll left or right. For Kazuya, it's different because typically after um, EJWGF, if Ganondorf lands in the plat, uh, it gives Kazuya the chance to uh, option select with Crouch Rising where they're put in that stumble state. Uh, but it's all just a guess. It all depends on what you do, because the auto turnaround sometimes will not be in Kazuya's favor, so it becomes a bit harder. Moxie plays uh, Moxie plays Kazuya in dubs. The mad uh, lad. I, I, I could personally never play Kazuya in dubs. Just just the fact that just having that auto turnaround gone basically just it sucks. Again with my Ganon. Doubles, however, he's uh, very clean. It's but, interesting uh, to a... compare the metas. Uh, Moxie is a uh, very adamant double. It, she, it likes to play doubles. Yeah. So uh, I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one guy myself. I'm not typically a doubles guy, but uh, you know, when there's doubles, I do I do be cooking though. Let's just say that. Hey, that's an untapped market. We should have doubles crew battles. Honestly. I'd be done for that. You, although, is it is it usually allowed to play the same character in doubles? Usually can, right? Yeah, in doubles, it's typically the same character. So, like, if we did, like, a Ganon versus Mario, we'd have two Marios and two Ganondorfs. Yeah. Now, how that would end up would be a disaster, seeing as both you're dealing with two characters that can ladder you to death, and on the other side, you have two characters that can kill you in three hits. But it'd be very interesting to see, though. I don't know why, if I thought for a second that in normal doubles tournaments they didn't allow the same character. I'm probably just having flashbacks to Double Cloud in Smash 4. That'd probably be the case. Which was such a nightmare, and still is to an extent in this game. So it sounds like Porog is going early in order to fill the Ganon void. <laughs> the crew battle uh, channel is full of, of shouting. Just figuring everything out. Thank you for being patient, everyone. Uh, I mean, crew battles is just to be expected. You get a lot of variables like this with flag and subbing in, subbing out. So this isn't my first rodeo. Been doing this for God knows how long. All right, here we go.
Match number two, Kimono the Kazuya versus Porog the Ganon. And Kimono is down one stock. I love the of my mods. I actually have the proper Ocarina of, of Ganon, which looks so nice. Shout out to Joe T. E. Oh, the uh, the model in this game? Yes. I like Old Man Dorf, personally. Alright. So it looks like we're starting properly. So game number two. Spot dodge, Ganon gets a grab into an early combo. Almost went in too deep, kind of fearful. The thing of Ganondorf is you definitely don't want to extend because then you get situations where you're going to take about 50, 80, 100%. It's dangerous to just throw moves out, yes. Yeah. Ooh, nice Ooh. forward air. I like that. And Ooh, there. Nice. Oh! Oh, okay. They... Well, that's one oh, off each oh. team. I mean, well, we t we take those, I guess, I suppose. But it's not uncommon for Kimono to bring this back if we play their cards like, but they are getting better. Oh, we're right into D Smash on Ganon. Two of them! Oh, that's a nasty place to get D Smashed. And a oh. dare from Ganon finishes Kimono. That is two more stocks off the Kazuyas and one more off the Ganons. Wow. Just. God damn. That was a very I, short match. I, I couldn't even commentate. Because these guys both just SD. Next thing you know, this Gan over here does a zero to death. By SD, do you uh, mean skill displayed? <laughs> I like that. Skill displayed. Elf King Polrog literally just showed you up. Eh, Elf said he wasn't feeling too hot today, so. Give him a break. All right, the next Kazuya that we have is going to be, oh, it's just number 6479, but I believe his tag is known as, uh, his nickname is usually Super Epic Guy, so I'll just refer from that from this point. Uh, he is going to be one of my next Kazuyas in the lineup. Elf King says, I love you, Polrog. <laughs> I didn't see. Is Ray, is Ray in our lineup this time? Ganon Court. Ray is our final Ganon. Dang. I wish I was uh, active when we did the Mario crew battle. Yeah. Because, oh my goodness. Warriors? Oh, no, Mario's. Because I wasn't able to uh, foresee to that. My staff did. And what I was told, the Ganondorf swept the Mario pretty badly. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it was a wash. However, Mario Kart is slowly coming back, as we recently just beat Sora in a very close fashion. 1-0. And now I am being begged to collaborate with the Steves. Because oh, apparently boy. I didn't realize I didn't realize so many Mario struggled with Steve, but hey. The princess is that uh, Paisy turned us down for a for a crew battle for JMU. They didn't think Ganon was important enough. I, I love fighting against Peach. Peach is one of my favorite characters to go up against with no matter any character I play. Very, very fun character to fight against me personally. That's a character that I have played since Melee to varying degrees, but uh, I, I don't think I'll ever be technically skilled enough to really be proficient with Paisy. Um, it's a, she's a very technical character. I would say on the same par as Kazuya to an extent. Because yeah. both require a lot, a lot, have to be very technical, very consistent. But, but obviously, Kazuya has a lot more to give than Daisy, then. I just, I, I love this guy in the chat, just, just screaming, go <laughs> FD. But it'll He's work just, eventually, someone's it, gonna like, go there. Oh, and someone will go FD, one way or another. He's summoning it's just, it. it. It's inevitable. Looks like they're just getting their bands ready. Elf King banning, is banning any Ganon <laughs> who picks FD. I mean, 
As a Ganon myself, I wouldn't mind FD, but that doesn't mean I would choose FD. As if a, I was Kazu, on the other hand, then yeah. As a player, it's my favorite stage because I, I hate platforms in this game. I just, really? I don't want to interact with them, yeah. Ah, oh, but they're so fun. You get, like, tech chases. You get scenarios where you have to adapt. You get more movement. You get stuck you know, on top of them. That's what you do. This is this is why I prefer PM and melee, where you have shield dropping. It gives you more options to get unstuck. Yeah. Hey, you got to make do what you do in the like, game's engine. They also tried to uh, they tried to eliminate crossing up in this game. They tried to make hitboxes more pushy, but they kind of just ended up making it very inconsistent. Oh yeah, you get a lot of weird interactions of hitbox or hurtboxes and hitboxes, especially when some moves just cross up on shield. And it becomes it becomes it be, it's interesting because it becomes like more of a a guessing game and just trying to familiarize in situations where you get crossed up because I know with Ganon Group as dash attack that move can definitely cross people up that move a lot does everything yeah oh yeah combos into itself kills as a late hitbox I just that move is is pretty good match number Excuse three Polrog the Ganondorf versus Super Epic Guy the Kazuya. And Polrog is down one stock. That is correct, yes. Three, two, oh, they one. they gentlemen to a uh, a battlefield. A fire emblem. Not the first, not the my, my first guess. But looks like we're all set to go. Game three. So Polrog definitely showed some insane dominance last game. He did a zero to death. And here I thought the DLC can only cheat. Very aggressive Ganon player, comparatively. Ooh, air dodge off stage. Horog doesn't quite manage the edge guard. Dodges laser, makes it back. Ooh, nice up. I love, I love that. Ooh, Ooh nice race read. Into up smash doesn't kill. Mm. Up Whoa. top platform up smash for the stock. This is not looking too good right now. Oh. Uh, He's going for the Ganon side, even a, honestly, I respect it. Might as well. If he gets that, uh, what, Rage Drive, the red glow? Yes. However, if you mash out of the Ganon side, then Ganondorf will most likely not make it back. Ooh, I like that. Little Nair to forward extension. No. Ooh, Ooh good for grab. An smash. It's a little greedy. I get the nearest spike with no dice. Oh, what was that cross up? If I had to guess, they were probably trying to go for a Gates of Hell attempt. Even though they weren't facing the correct side for that to work. Super this epic very... guy avoiding a few hits by delaying uh delaying teching, delaying get up. And Borg's is just on a stroll. He has not lost a stock of his yet. And he is at 172%. Horrocks have a lot of very good reads, but uh, I haven't had a lot of amazing ledge guarding this match. And I haven't seen grabs from Kazu at all. <laughs> but the jab right one that... into a few jabs. All right. Ooh, you you just need one grab, just one hit. Kazu just needs one hit, and then he's dead. And up air, that does oh. it. That is three more off the Kazuya's Polrog hanging in there with one more stock. Uh, like Strip, like... That <laughs> was simply an unfortunate game, yeah, I agree. Moxie screaming about that cross-up. This game is trash. Hello, Moxie, how you doing today? That was simply an unfortunate game. I'm seeing in the crew battle chat. Alright, so we have another Kazuya coming up. Hello? 
Ooh. Did our voice disconnect? Good thing this happened between matches. Zug is subbing. Oh, okay. Zug has had enough of watching. He's getting in the fray. Sounds like they're going to PS2. And FD, Town and City, Northern Cave. That's right. Town and City is one that came up as a, something you don't want to take Kazuya to because half the time it's just Final Destination. Alright, next match. Polrog the Ganondorf versus Zug the Kazuya. Polrog hanging on to one final stock, so he will remove two at the start of the battle. And taunt to start. Polrog playing footsies in the center. <laughs> wrong what? Wrong facing ja uh, grab. What was that? Oh, did he... Did he tough guy through the first hit of D-Smash? Interrupted it with a grab. Uh, Polrog now off stage. Mm. Aerial electric wind god fist. Polrog lands a bear in neutral. Just trading, glancing blows. Oh, is that it? Nope. Polrog DI's out of the uh, Electric Wind God Fist to up smash combo. He's taking more damage than Zug so far, but neither of them have, have managed to stop yet. Polrog trying to ledge guard gets knocked back by, uh, by Zug. And we're back to footsies again. Ooh! A neutral fair doesn't quite kill. Can he edge guard? Not quite! Both back on stage. Zug has his Rage Drive at the ready, but he gets fared and loses the first stock. <laughs> Whiz kick in neutral. Oh, what? Okay. Well. The uh, spinning kick takes Horog's final stock. And we are down one more. Off of both the Kazuyas and uh, and the Ganons. Zug pulled it off, losing only one stock. Going into the next fight with two Kazuya stocks. The Beyblade. What's the actual name? Excuse me. What's the actual name of that move? It's like a uh, Demon Whirlwind Kick. I think it's his uh, down forward tilt. But this is why I need Zug here. I don't know Kazuya's moves well enough. I need a doctorate to know all of these Kazuya moves. Spinning demon to, le to left hook? Oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. Moxie wouldn't lie to me. Sounds like a uh, Ganondorf. Is that Ganondorf? Is that Ganondorf? Saiyajin? No, it's a uh, 
It's the Rob craze on Discord. Saiyajin in Smash. Zug about to enact the plan to eradicate the Saiyajin. You like that? I know my anime. I know my references. Goku is my favorite JoJo. Pretty good Yu-Gi-Oh! duelist, yeah. Alright. Next match. Saiyajin the Ganondorf versus Zug the Kazuya. With two stocks remaining. Alright, and begin. There's that ceiling we talked about. Uh, dash attack into- oh, reads the air dodge into a flame choke. It's a few early good hits from, uh, Saiyajin. Whiz kick in neutral. Which is not something you would ever see offline. Retreating fair. Zug is eating a lot of hits in this neutral. Oh! He's got Rage Drive. That's not enough to kill at 22, but it's, it doesn't take a lot. Mm, it begins. There's the combo. Saiyajin DI's out into a D-tilt for a stock on Zug. Saiyajin at a clean 62%. Playing a very nice neutral game, keeping damage to a minimum. You can tell how nice his neutral game is because he keeps throwing out whiz kicks. That's the sign of a great Ganon neutral. Ooh. <laughs> Ganondorf throws! Ganondorf never throws! to uh, Gan Ganondorf often needs his uh, air dodge just for the distance to get back to stage, but it can be dangerous to throw it out early against Kazuya because it's often necessary for the laser. Ooh, that whiz kick is going to kill him into a suicide, but Kazuya dies first! So, uh, did, uh, did Zug do that? Or did Saiyajin guide them both off stage? Because that would be some impressive reaction time if he did that. Saiyajin keeps all three stocks, and that's, uh, Zug is out. That's alright, Zug. You did, you did fine. You, you did, uh, you took out the previous game. Hear me? I can hear you. Hi. Let me let me explain, y'all. Let me explain. I have not touched this game in months. Yeah. And my controller notch is not fixed. Okay. I have not been able to fix this thing in like two weeks. John accepted. I would yeah. have done worse. Yeah. I could have done much worse, but hey. Uh, but uh, we'll have our next cause to uh, hopefully do a much better performance than what I did. Uh, don't do what I did, guys. Moxie, angry. Why did you ban our best stages? Uh, I have not played this game in months. That is my excuse. 
I have been playing other games and self-care. Up next, we'll have Pixels. It sounds like they have figured out whatever was going on with Yaz. And it sounds like it was something obvious, but I don't know what. I kind of felt a little delay, but I'm wired up, so it doesn't really matter. But, um... Why did I ban our best stages? I don't know. I have not been paying attention to Kazuya as much as I have with my other characters. We still have Moxie. Moxie's gonna bring it back for the... Yeah, uh, Moxie! Kazuya. Moxie will bring it back! Hey, if we get enough subs, do you think we could have Moxie versus Moxie for the final match? Hell, why not? Shoot. I will forgive you in five years! Listen, listen. I have not touched Kazuya in about five to six months. I kind of took a break from this game again. But Moxie will always carry. Moxie carries our our, our crew battles hard. Malin, why aren't you playing for the Ganons? Why can't we make the dream match happen? Honestly, if I'm going to be real, I would have had to prefer to sub for the Ganondorf because it's a lot more it's a lot more easier for me since Ganondorf muscle memory is something I personally just can't forget as long as I've been playing this character. Oh, he's a walking John, too. You lose. Well, I lost because I was Ganondorf. Duh. <laughs> All right, who is who is this? Who is this uh, This Kaz? And plus, I didn't want to make the choice of having one of our other subs who was not wired and not from the States. So, to be honest, guys, it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot more laggy, but hey. They're not going to go FD. Okay, next match. Saiyajin the Ganon versus Uu Senpai. That's Ant, right? That is Pixel. Pixel, okay. Three, Rocking two, the uh, Dio skin. One, go! Both of them at fresh stock so they can begin immediately. Kazuya gets an early grab. <laughs> Dang, I have not seen this stage used in a long time. But it's benefiting the Ganondorf. Well, it's actually even right now. It's just a smaller version of Kalos, really, right? It is. Yeah, it basically is. Um, it helps certain characters a bit than what Kalos offers. Um, due to the fact that Kalos is a lot more vertical. Mm. But overall, this game has been very even. If the Ganondorf has been playing the neutral as you should, going, staying at your mid, your best ranges, while Kazuya has to work his way in order to get the hit that matters the most. Sajin plays a very careful neutral move. As, as you should with Ganondorf, honestly. And good punish on the down air. Um, it's important to note that with Ganondorf, you cannot afford to overextend against Kazuya, and you have to play it in a certain general range. Like that with down tilt, the max range of down tilt should be your common range in this matchup. You don't want to be too far or else you're going to get servo camped in a sense. You don't want to be too close because Kazuya outboxes you really well. And just Sajin just playing this extremely low. Nice parry, but no punish. We saw a late up air of Tipman onto the platform for an up smash. Kazuya did manage to shield in time. Alright, Rage Drive is on deck. Oh, oh he didn't go did for the stop full... it. Oh no. If I had to guess, probably might have wanted the other one, but you probably still could have continued that and it would have been kill Ganon. Oh, but hey! SD for Saiyajin. This is still doable. Oh. But. Saiyajin Electric... now struggling to land a hit. I mean, even if. Uh, Pixel loses a stock. That's still 60 damage on the board, which is still good. Dash attack still not killing. Can't afford to miss another rage drive, or another grab rather. And yeah, that's gonna it's gonna lose this rage drive. Rage has run out. Ooh, good gates of hell. And He's back here. It. That's all it takes on Ganon. Yeah, you don't want to overextend. Ooh, doesn't continue the string.
Ooh, I like that. You didn't get the Nair confirmed, but you do the kick to at least contain the the string in a sense. Ooh, Pixel eats a fair. That's one more stock. 60 to 0. Kazuya favored. Went for an instant dash attack punish that did not catch the full back. Okay, bird stack? Oh no, goes for the back here instead. I like that. Didn't feel comfortable. Neutral getup into ups tilt? Up smash. Oh, try to punish with the up B, but not gonna connect. So up B, a good back gear, an electric or something. Oh, with the kicks. Sajin just needs those little hits. If he gets grabbed, an up throw. Oh, this is not looking too pretty. What's the off switches game? Oh, oh, we haven't seen a dark dive edge guard yet. Pixels with a just up up special. Was that a neutral roll or a ledge roll or ledge get up? Uh, I think it was a ledge roll. Stop using B. My, count the Moxie messages that are not in all caps this stream. Okay, so that was... What, what did Pixels finish with? He had one stock remaining, right? Yes, one stock. One stock arena. Uh, as Elf King mentioned in the Kuba channel, the usage of down tilt is pretty good because that's going to be your general range as Ganondorf in this matchup. It is yes, you generally the safest neutral option. Yeah. Ganondorf's neutral is a lot of uh, nair, a lot of detilt, a lot of jab, depending on yeah. the character. Yeah. In this matchup, as I've noted, um, you want to stay in that range. Your max range or down tilt is your general range because that's your range for dash attack. That's a good of a kind of a good range to throw out. Whiz kick as a burst option if they don't expect it. It's a good option for a jab. Um, it keeps you safe from getting hit by electric wind for the most part. I say that like in quotations because even still, um, the cause hasn't really shown it yet. But due to Kazuya's advanced wave dashing, uh, you typically want to stay in that range to avoid. Uh, taking that main damage. The consensus was that this is a matchup that Ganondorf wants to stay grounded in because of Kazuya's anti-air potential. Yes, that too. Um, that's why I noticed when I was playing against that Ganondorf, they tend to double jump, kind of stay in the mid-air, because the grounded game Ganondorf does not really excel in. Because Gan Kazuya is granted his faster things to the advanced wave dash, uh, he can easily mix up his movement and his timings, more so than Ganondorf. So you really have to angle yourself in a position where you won't lose a stock or at least take a lot of hits. But we're going to the fourth game, I believe. Uh, I think we're on to six or seven. Pixel, the Kazuya versus Ganondorf, the Ganondorf. Yeah, yeah. Pixel will SD because he's on his last stock. Um, Hollow Bastion is basically a bigger smash fail. Still a good stage for Kazuya as he still gains access to Burp's tech, along with still having his consistent uh, range. So far, um, Pixel could take a stock here. Oh, but he doesn't get the Nair. Pixel is the wrong way, unfortunately. Hey, there's the first tech, but not able to perfectly execute. I notice a lot of these Ganons are having their really good uses of flame chokes, which is something I heavily encourage in this matchup. You definitely want to make uh, the cause your guess. Ganondorf getting greedy with those F smashes. He has been winning the damage race so far. Doesn't quite manage an edge guard. Kazuya. Oh, Ooh, good gates of hell. He can he make it dead. back? No, he makes no, it back. He didn't go off stage for a fair, but that's fine. Um, 
Pixel will die to one more hit of Nair forward or back here. Oh! oh. He already oh, the up smash! 173%! Honestly, <laughs> that is worth the, 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 the damage. He's, he's, he's dead, but honestly, that's worth it. The emotional damage, certainly. Can we get a Ganon kill throw? Okay, jab one, jab two. Oh, detail. And the down tilt. The tomahawk down tilt. That is one more off of each side. The Ganon's maintaining a two stock lead currently. Someone in the crew battle trying to said bullshit DLC. Um, <laughs> I would incline to agree. Yes. He's easy I would incline saying things like that for most of the crew battle. But here's my body. Uh, if I can find the correct sticker for this. Alrighty. Thanks to Pixel. Our next Kazuya player will be Argo. Thanks to Pixel. A little passive aggressive, don't you think? Oh no, Pixel did great. Pixel did great. I'm I'm shocked that rage that race drive came in clutch. He was dead, but that race drive, it just shows that Kazuya is definitely one of the Chat more <laughs> interesting characters. Chat member asking Moxie how the how the Kazuyas are doing. Chat about to explode. Moxie claims that they do not know the Ganon matchup. I played with Kimono over the week and I played with Moxie semi-regularly. I don't recall playing against many other Kazuyas. Moxie, what do you mean by that? But Moxie, what you... I mean. Moxie, what do you mean by that? You said you're about to blow. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Right, so it looks like FD, Smashville, and Kalos are banned. Blow up? Yo, you're gonna blow up? Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet, Moxie. But anyways... Um, contrary, this is still very much doable. Our Kazuyas have known to com make our finest comebacks. And especially if Moxie's in this, so yeah. Moxie's gonna come in and not lose a single stop stock. Just gonna sweep the rest of the Ganons, show everyone how it's done. I mean, if I was on the Ganon side, I'll just say I could have taken a lot more stocks, but hey, y'all didn't hear that from me. Granted, this isn't friendlies. I usually manage one stock on Moxie. It is causing you usually, uh, usually two stocks me. I'll have to, I'll have to play Moxie sometime. He's one of our best. I have yet to play Moxie in a in a couple of games, but even when I do that, I have to prepare this controller. Just I I love I love the chat is just continuing this go FD, despite the fact that no one is hopefully that oblivious of picking FD on either side. I, I, lo I love this emotion for one stage. It, it, it truly shows how far we, we have come. If no one picks FD, we should have an exhibition match after after the crew battle. You and me on FD. I'd be down for it. I'd be down for it, honestly. You know what? I'm going to change my icon to FD just, just to celebrate the existence of everyone's favorite stage, FD. And you don't have to go to FD, guys. You, you could gentlemen to a stage... And pick that FD form. So technically, it's that's not the real FD. Yeah. That's just FD in disguise. Because not all stages FD variants are the same. It's gentleman to uh, it's general gentleman to temple. That's the Chad move. The temple. Would that even benefit either of these characters? They're both molasses. Oh God, no! Oh God, no! You you gentlemen to temple, then what is Kaza gonna do? He's gonna do so much damage, but you're you're at the bottom of the stage. We're gonna do. Do not go to temple, screams Moxie. No shit. 
I mean, Moxie, think about it. Think about it. Temple, oh. Temple, kind of, kind of a goaded stage. Temple kind of goaded. I'm looking at the stage list, and you know, Temple, Temple, not all that bad. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. What it would if Mox think about it. Throwing, throwing, one crew battle will not kill you. If we threw this, it would not kill you. I don't remember when we retired Yoshi's. I think it was after the Brawler crew battle. Which is a uh, d d any character who can easily execute you off the top of the stage, Yoshi's is a death sentence. Uh, my Mario's have complained the loss of Yoshi's. They <laughs> want Yoshi's back. Yeah, Thrupper, yeah, uh, Thrupper Brawler is Mario, but, like, way stronger. Yeah. Mario's best stage has been gutted off in the official stage list, and Mario's have cried and cried that we put it in our crew battles, but I say, uh, just overcome and adapt. Okay, but let's talk about Lylat. Lila is a stage... Okay, I've played Smash for years, and I will stand on this hill that Lila is one of the worst stages put on any game stage list it is featured in in a competitive setting. Yeah, no one really it is likes a, Lila. It is a horrible stage. Horrible stage. In Brawl, in Brawl, Smash 4, and even this game, the collisions have always been jacked up on the ledges. And here's the thing. So, the collisions on both the left and the right stage are so jacked that if you have a move that can go under, it's basically a guaranteed edge guard stock. And you don't even go have to have to go off stage for it, too. You're talking about shocking? Yes. The worst, I'm glad that at least if Lila in this game, when it's on the stage list, it is not moving. When it is, though, it, it, it is a worse time. Alright, next match. So we got Argo. Argo. Apologies. Still with Gandalf. So Gandalf will SD as he has two stocks. Argo with a fresh three. I'd like to mention that throughout this crew battle, I'm glad I have seen a mixture of my mods of both the Ocarina and Brawl Ganondorf. The mods what? Oh, I have, you, uh, have, you have your modded Switch. Yes. Well, so she, I'm you right now be streaming. <laughs> so right now on my screen, it's actually Brawl Ganondorf. Uh, not the default. Ooh, the nice sequence. It doesn't get the first tech. That's an accidental command grab, looks like. After a few early hits from Ganondorf, they're relatively even. Kazuya now putting in the work. Neutral dare. Oh, that's Ooh, it. Ooh, drive. No, no he's, no, he's living. It. No, he's living. He's at center stage. If he, won't, if he was closer, he would have definitely would have died. So he needs one good D electric, a one up beat. That was not a space detilt. That was a right in his face detilt. Into an up air for the first stock. Uh oh! Late dash attack into Nair into grab doesn't doesn't quite get the uh, D smash follow up. It's very interesting to see that the Kazuyas so far have been getting hit by oh the SD threaded the needle. Unfortunate. Oh. Is he gonna go for the the Ganon side? Is that why he's hanging out over there? <laughs> Repeat dares. This is not looking all that too great for the causes right now. That's okay, we got Moxie. Oh, you didn't go for Uppy. There you go. Electric yeah. Wind God Fist into Up Special. What's his Up Special called? Um, I actually cannot remember. I can't even remember half of Kazuya's moves, and I played this guy in both this end and Tekken. Mm. Ooh, Punish? Okay. Crosses up into an up smash. Argo down three stocks. Ganondorf down one. Ganondorf doing uh, well. Uh. 
I'd like to point out that uh, could have done side B to punish the up smash, actually. And that would have been one of your combo starters. But, uh, oh, well, good start to Argo. At least took a stop. Can't go while complain. Unfortunate SD, but it happens. It happens to the best of us. It happened to me. All right. Next up on the Kazuya playlist, we have Salt King. Moxie says the Kazuyas would be winning if there was a Jigglypuff shield break timer start. I only learned recently that used to be a thing, because we didn't have spectators like this in Smash 4. Oh yeah, that's right, back in the day when we did three battles. And just kill themselves as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, that used to be a thing we used to do back then, that's crazy. Dang, look how far we have come. But, uh, I would not count the Kazuyas just quite out yet. Because Ganondorfs have... What? Uh, two stocks right now? Uh, Ganondorf? one. Oh, he's on one. He's on his final stock. But uh, it is not yet... It is not insurmountable. So honestly, two players and three players still very doable. I see that the Kazus are dooming, but guys, you're playing one of the best characters in the game. Simply Electric Wind Godfist and out neutral. That's all you need to do. Yeah. That's honestly all you need to do. You need to out. You have no neutral, but you're fighting a character with no neutral. Cer certainly exactly. You can exactly. work something out. Exactly. You have one of the best moves in the game. You have Electric Wind Godfist. It's called Electric Wind Godfist for a reason. The move is simply too good in both its original game where it originates from and in this game. Kazuya is being blamed for not practicing the matchup. That's I mean, we've that's, had a yeah. lot more active Ganons than uh, active other people on a lot of recent JMUs. I feel like the the hype, the honeymoon phase for Ult is kind of past. Game's oh, it's been past. It. It's been past, honestly. Ever since Steve dropped, it's felt like more people... The competition has gotten higher, with definitely with the top players, but definitely more people are starting to uh, slowly drift apart. Hey, have you guys seen this new tier list that came out? Let's talk I about have. the hot new tier list. That tier list, uh, I'm not a fan. Yeah. It's got Yoshi higher than Mario. And, and I'm, I'm over here with a blank face, like... Yoshi's that high? But who's really using Yoshi like that? Like, come on now. I, I don't think it's that bad, but it's it's become a meme in Ganondorf yeah. to keep bringing it... In Ganon Cord to keep bringing it up. But hey! This is the third game... Well, no. The fourth game, I've played Ganondorf. And he... Well, no. The third game, and he's at the bottom of the tier list. Yeah. So... I expected this, honestly. Th this is the, this is what we get for playing one of the worst characters in Smash that isn't melee or PM. I made Bowser. I just I'm here for fun. Oh, you play Bowser? Oh, you're, you're you're chilling then. You're chilling. All right, next match: Salt King, the uh, Kazuya versus Ganondorf, and his final stock, the Ganondorf. Salt King, you just gotta take one. To take the easy stock, just electric wind god fist. Don't sugarcoat it. Just Do keep not it. never stop using it. Why would you? Don't don't sugarcoat it. Three, two, one. Guys, the over go. oh that whoops, sorry. The overlay is gone. Oh! Thank you for notifying me of that. Alright, do over. Next match, Ganondorf, <laughs> the Ganon versus Salt King, the Kazuya. Right. You just need one grab or Oh, there it is! Oh no, we didn't get it! Everyone's talking about the tier list in chat now. Yes! It worked! Uh-oh. This is not... Not not a bad start. Salt King eating more early damage so far. Oh, but the down tilts. Oh, that was supposed to be a grab! What are you doing? Not the side beat. No! We're gone for up smash to cover the whole platform. Oh, that was a grab! No, grab him! 
Ganondorf, attempting those smash attacks, just trying to finish. Kazuya now with Rage Drive. This is not looking too pretty right now. For who? For Kaz, because I would really like him. <gasps> Punish him! Oh, Punish him! no! Okay, that you didn't must, get the... That you must didn't... have been a misinput. Oh, dude! Dude, kill him! Is that it? That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, okay. Woo! Soul King takes Ganondorf's stock. We are now 6 to 9. Wins. 69, nice. <laughs> Moxie, why didn't you do the input? Ah! That's, what, that's probably what Moxie sounds like, IRL. My best estimate. Hey guys, you see what the score is? It's a pretty good score. Oh, we lost, uh... I'm having voice issues again. Oh, my internet has been not so great. You know what? Probably because we're in the middle of, like, a huge snowstorm. That that would be my why my internet... It's not being great. The stream's going fine, so hello everyone. We're just without Zug until uh, Discord voice reconnects. Man, I'm be I've been doing this so long, I remember when we used Skype, because Discord was garbage. In fact, I remember before that, when we used MSN Messenger, before that was uh, eaten by Skype. Before Skype, I was using this stuff before Skype existed. Uh, I try to leave and rejoin the call with Zoe. Maybe it's on, maybe it's on his end. Well, I guess until we reconnect, I will be commentating on my own. Next match is Yizmat, the Ganon, returning against Salt King, the Kazuya. And it sounds like they're going to do a connection test. Definitely doesn't look laggy anymore. I might be delayed, but not uh, not stuttering or anything. So they're both fresh as soon as they're good to start. Yeah, I, I didn't follow exactly what happened in chat. It sounded like they overlooked something obvious. Like maybe they weren't, uh, maybe they just didn't have their land plugged in or something. So it's up to you guys if you want to just talk to start or if you want to reset to the full 10 minutes. Looks like they're going to reset. Look, now it's basically FD. That's right. That's why they can't start on this one. They got to they got to start when it's not FD. Yes, the switch was on Wi-Fi. Okay, that makes sense. Well, this will give uh, Zug a little more time to potentially reconnect. Ready? And 
SD because they didn't go to FD. No. Uh, no, no, no one can hear you, Zug. You know what? Try leaving the call. Try closing the Discord call and starting a new one. See if that works. Alright. Match is underway. Yzmat takes the first couple of hits. A neutral F smash. Attempts an aerial choke into down smash. Salt King dodges. Yzmat keeping him at ledge so far. Salt King lands the Rage Drive, 83%, not quite enough. Yzmet back to Sage. Oh, again! Air Choke into D-Smash. That just seems like an ill-fated attempt at this point. Salt King takes the first stock, now at 117%. says D smash. Who doesn't say D smash? What do you say? You don't smash D? Ooh, Salt King knocks Yzmaut off stage. We haven't had a successful laser hit off stage yet, I believe. Mm. The Jet Kazuya gentleman's him off stage. Lasers in the wrong direction. Unfortunate. Sulking at 160%. Ganon just needs a poke. He has not got to hit him with something. A jab. A grab. Throw him. Okay, a, fr a fresh dash attack. There it goes. There's a stock off of Salt King. Mm. He is not... Goes for a flame choke in neutral, gets punished for it, sent off stage, avoids the laser, back to neutral. Well, these two are having uh, having some trouble finishing each other. Both players are managing to uh, keep the opponent's advantage state in check. That's that's another way of putting that. Please don't lose another stock, says Moxie. Salt King takes another one off of Yzmat. So that is three off the Ganons and one off the Kazuya. The comeback is happening. Ganons down to six. Kazuya is now at five. Alright, now attempting once again to reconnect with Zug. I really, really want to rekindle our relationship. Doesn't, it just doesn't want to connect. Discord is being a, uh, just being a poopy butthole right now. Ganon Court voice channel, which inevitably someone is going to wander into. 
None of you guys. You y'all are y'all are good viewers. No one's gonna do that. RTC connecting. Got Maulin, get out of here. I'm gonna mute him. Not that it's still failing to connect, so uh Maybe it's me. Three, two, one, oh, I'm going to try to restart this for it. Uh, next match, Salt King, the Kazuya, versus Guts, the Ganon. Which, this is uh, Klaus, the Ganon, I should say. Was that a parry? No, that was just a shield on the uh, Wind God Fist. Guts taking a lot of early damage from Salt King. And a side B in neutral for the first stock. I don't recognize what that move it linked into was. Klaus goes for a whiz kick. Dash attack into up smash. A few very optimistic uh, Ganon attempts. D smash does connect. That's a stock off of Salt King. Salt King using uh, up special and neutral a lot more than the other Kazuya's. Whisk kick and neutral. Some fine neutral on display right now. Look at that. Look at that neutral. We also did get, yes, we got our first uh, our first full 10 hit combo. Which should not connect if SDI'd properly. We're gonna get a shield break today. Mm. Klaus. Going in, being very aggressive, just trying to connect something with his Kazuya. Salt King, kiting heavily. <laughs> A D smash at ledge. Again, optimistic. Interrupted, though. Did not connect. Ganondorf hanging out at ledge. I'm I'm waiting for some, fo some form of throw. Okay. Just <laughs> aerial choke into step away into up smash. Guts survives with two stocks. Let's see, the Ganons are now at four. Kazuya's down to their final three, which I assume means that Moxie is about to come in. Alright, I am attempting to, uh... I'm attempting to close Discord with Task Manager because I don't have my second screen available. It's occupied by Smash. Three five, not three four. Oh, uh, you're right. You're correct. Uh, Klaus has uh, two stocks remaining. Sorry about that. All right, Rosado, the Moxie. Hello. Oh wow. So it must have been on my end. Yeah, I restarted Discord, and it seems we're fine now. Uh, you sound. All right, let's try a normal Discord call then. Yeah, I don't think uh, Ganondorf is equipped to handle our sexy voices. Hello again. Are we good? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. All right, we missed Perfect. a few matches. Uh, Kazuya's made a comeback. Ganon, uh, Klaus managed to uh, survive with two stocks, so Ganondorf's have an edge of five stocks to Moxie's three. I saw, I saw why that Discord was on it. But uh, 
Moxie is, uh, he can definitely bring this back. I believe in Moxie. I am assuming that Raycom is our final Ganon. I have not seen if he's here. Oh, did he sign up? He's in our Ganon lineup. He usually is for crew battles. Oh, he, oh, I do see him. Yes, he is. Wow. This is about to get very interesting. Litany might be subbing for Ray. Okay, so it is to be determined. Alright. Go after Mox these resume. Moxie's about to get mod roll. I don't know if we're gonna do all of that, but we'll compensate Moxie if he brings us back. Next match, Moxie the Kazuya versus Klaus the Ganon. Klaus is gonna SD one stock or two? Uh one stock. Okay. Mod Volrol? What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Yeah, SD one stock. And then uh, we're all set. Moxie! Get back. Get... What are you doing? It's all you now. You, you goofy Latios. Alright, Moxie says all you, brother. <laughs> Klaus hanging out at, at ledge, which uh, is pretty normal for Ganondorf. Again, not something I would recommend in this particular matchup. Okay, electric. You guys have been missing your nares off of your electrics. They've been facing the wrong way. Ooh, good electric! You dare no, criticize the Moxie? Not just Moxie, just... Ooh. That would have been dangerous. That he would have died there. That was some shield damage. We haven't gotten a shield break yet today. Both characters definitely have means of doing so. He's looking for this full in read. Punish! Oh, no side beat. Klaus is definitely relying a whole lot on reads and guesses. Okay, the Nair Ledge Trap, the classic. No electric. Back air. Oh. Nice forward air. Moxie I haven't seen a. Venturing off stage to finish him. Nice berry! Gates of Hell! Is that it? Oh my. Is that it? Is that. That's, that's it. it! That's it! A that's it! Oh. 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 oh! Dude! Moxie annihilates Klaus's last two stocks. Dude! Dude! Three to three. I told. Moxie got it! Moxie got it. Oh my goodness. Ganon cord washed, says Maolin. Hey, difference in skill, me thinks. Difference in skill. Hey, you know what? If you had me, we'd be winning this. <laughs> you can't prove otherwise. I, I, I can't, but hey, this got even real quick. Real quick. All right, our final 1v1. Who is our final Ganon going to be? All right. Turn me out. I want to see. Are we gonna do FD for the one time, guys? Are you guys gonna go to FD? No, no. It, there's too much riding on this now. Ah, oh, come on, come on, FD, FD for the one time, guys. Come on, let me see an FD in the chat. Can we get an FD in the chat? Go to FD. I'm gonna hide the Let's... chat. No, get out of here, Melon. <laughs> see the chat. The chat demands FD. They want FD. We are all individuals. Okay, sounds like Ray is not coming. Oh, he's not. Oh, but he's in the. He's in the arena. No, it sounds. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. he is. Yeah. Well, he's in the arena, but he's not in the. He's not in the Discord channel. How's he gonna do picks and bans? Ray, what are you uh, doing? Let me ping Ray. What are the bands? There he is. <laughs> Salt King says, I will literally give you $5 to go FD. $5? Come on. You gotta do better than that. I personally would... Maybe like 20. Bands are Battlefield, PS2, and Smashville. PS2, Smashville, and Battlefield. SVR, not a real one. Not a real one. I play Gandalf, I would have picked FD, me personally. Come on now. That's just me, though. That is just me, though. 
Oh wait, we're going to. Oh no, he they didn't realize that SV was banned. So small small battlefield. battlefield. I like small battlefield. It's a good stage. That was a nice addition to the game that no one expected. Honestly, yes, very so. I think it it, it's, it offers more than just going to PS2. I don't like PS2. Too big and edges are weird. Oh boy, would if you, if you played uh Brawl PS uh 2 back in the day, you would have hated that stage. That's Imagine sure. playing Brawl. Hey, I love Brawl. Brawl, I will say it. I enjoyed Brawl even as a competitive game more than I did with Smash 4. Nope, trash game. Hey, Brawl had subspace. No, nope. Brawl had subspace Brawl... sucked. Awful game, trash. No! Subspace was a great movie, it was an awful game. No, you're trolling. Nope. You're tr No. And what, Smash, what did Smash 4 have? We had Smash Run for the 3DS. It had multiplayer. <laughs> it had multiplayer? <laughs> yeah, which you want in a fighting game. It's a multiplayer game. Fuck Subspace. <laughs> trash. Well, it had multiplayer too. What are you talking about? Cure ribbon. You don't keep ha You don't have to keep saying brb. You can you can go and come back as much as you want. You have you have a what? hall pass. You have bathroom privilege. No, your bathroom privileges are for vote. You must use the bathroom where you are standing. I forbid you go to the bathroom. I'm confused. What are these guys doing? Are we not going to small battlefield? Uh, what is going Talks on? is flipping a co Why is she flipping a coin? What, 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 are they are actually doing? debating going to FD? No. What are we doing? This is the last game. I know you guys got stuff to do. It sounds like Ray maybe doesn't want to play. Right? Huh? Okay, no, we're doing oh, it. Oh, 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 we're doing it. We're doing it. I guess we're doing it. And yes, this is commentary. We're, we're just confused. There's a bunch of mass confusion. All right, so Moxie versus Ray Calm. Our final, final players. 3v3, final. both players fresh. Full stocks. This is the final battle. Three, two, one, go! So, is Ganon Cord washed? Cause your cord L? This this will find we're gonna find out here. Ray, going straight to ledge. I don't know what Ray is doing. It's certainly working. Kind of yeah. Oh no! Okay. Oh, no, he's fine. He makes it back. Okay. Didn't overextend. Nice. Ray, Ray is pay, playing patient. I wonder if Moxie is able to capitalize. Ray is a good player. I also did not see him really, like, participating in matchmaking. Uh, he didn't do great in the, in the brawler JMU due to a lack of matchup experience. Nice wish to cancel. Just, these aren't going to play patient. I don't blame him. I mean, as much as Kazuya is much of a threat, Ganondorf is a the Dragon Punch. This is the most platform camping we've had so far. Oh. oh. The Dragon Punch again. I'm, I'm, this is just spaghetti going all around. These guys are playing patiently, but oh my goodness. There is nothing going on. These are just straight hits after straight hit. Ray with a whiz kick ledge cancel. This is just, is he going off stage? No. Pretty even no ledge so trap. Just as oh, that's it. Where he? <laughs> he tried no, he's to eat dead. the laser. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. No, there's no All way right. Anna gets back from that. All right. This Boxy is now just gonna just wait a ledge. Oh, here we go. Burp tech. Oh no, oh, he didn't. Missed the platform me. extension. What was it? Was Ray going for a Ganon side? No. No, he was looking for like a tech chase. There's no way you go for Ganon side of that deficit. And just like, as I mentioned, Kazir can easily back up damage. Doesn't have to kill, but he's at 100%. Oh. Wizkick in neutral gets shielded. This is not looking good. Ray has got a... If that Wizkick doesn't, yeah. you just get lucky okay. sometimes. Not Ganondorf not willing to go off stage for that. He's just he's playing to just walk off stage though. He's fine with that. Up the up smash. I'm uh, sorry, up this special. Is... Oh yeah, up smash. This is looking rough. It's not looking rough for the Kazuyas. Oh, it definitely isn't. But as a Ganon player, I feel this. I feel this a lot. 
And, and you gotta ask yourself, like, what do you do? You're down two stocks. Kazir has Rage Drive, and you're getting camped by one of the not so greatest projectiles in the game. Fair still doesn't kill. What is he doing? Manages what? to avoid getting rock crocked. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's. Oh no. Moxie uh -oh, gonna do spaghetti. it to him? Ah. That's it. He's dead. That's He's it. dead. He's dead, Moxie. He's already dead. Okay, and just but, like that. But imagine matchup experience, though. Yeah, there's that, but. He didn't sugarcoat it. He it's didn't sugarcoat not an easy it. It's not an easy matchup. This is. Uh, people have concluded is kind of pretty miserable for Ganondorf. It is. It is. I mean, what matchup is it? You know, and it's not. What matchup is it? There's not many that uh, he's happy about. True, this yeah. is canon. Kasia dropped him off the cliff. So, thus ends the crew battle with a 3-0. Oh, they're doing a rematch. Okay. Well, this is a non-canon exhibition match, I guess. This is, this is non-canon, guys. The, 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 the It's over. The Kazuyas have won. They've won. The Three final out. score of the crew battle is 3-0 Kazuya this is, favor. This is a bonus game. Yeah, this is a bonus game. This Moxie is a bonus game. Moxie did not lose. A, it was exactly like I said. Moxie did not lose a single stock to the Ganons once he came in. He truly did show us all how it's done. Apparently, Raycom is going to show some insightful wisdom. Are they going FD? Raycom says it's a lame matchup. Okay. It, yeah, it, it is. is. It is. It is. It most certainly is. Because Kalsier is basically... Is basically what Ganondorf wishes he was. He wishes he had combos that actually could dish out consistent damage can win neutral interactions like that, better recovery. I mean, it's hard for Ganon. It's I hard. feel like a lot of DLC characters are kind of designed as to be earlier character archetypes, but uh, more fleshed out and more balanced. Kazuya has so many tools because a character with that kind of ground speed and lack of approach options just needs all of that in order to uh, balance out that crippling weakness. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, a lot of the DLC is basically is just what if we take existing character archetypes and expand it to a lot. People made a lot I, of comparisons between a sword fighter and pirate and Mithras, weirdly enough. What? No. No. No? You don't that, see that's that at a, all? No, that's cause no, because like Mithra is is a care is like one of the sorties that just has like no end lag, very quick has consistent damage output due to her speed and nature, and then Pyra is basically just getting her for sword. Yeah, kinda. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Ray takes a stock this time. So it's like, all of, oh, nice electric. So it's like, all of the DLCs are, are basically just do what the main cast does, but better. I mean, if you ask yourself, why would you pick uh, Myth or Pyro over, let's say, like, I don't know, any other sword character? It's like, you have no real reason. Unless, like, it's character loyalty. I don't think that's the case with all of, all of the DLC, sir. Yeah, not all of them. Not all of them. But if I wanted to pick, let's say, a fighting game character, and have the option between Ryu or Kazuya, I'd pick Kazuya. Because Kazuya is a lot more consistent, and he overall has a lot more better tools that he can... He can do than what Ryu can. Ooh, that's some chunky peanut butter. Oh, this is some lag. I can see it. Oh, I'm feeling this. But Ganon is funny. Ganon, Ganon is a is a character I will never drop. I I have not dropped this character in over ten years. He may I, be I the worst die. character in the game, but he's also the most fun character in the game. He, he is. And Ganondorf takes, in a, in a competitive setting, he takes a lot of fundamentals to master for Smash. If Ray Calm win, if Ray does manage to win this big if, I, I wonder if they'll do a third one if they're doing a full set. Moxie benefits from A, being an excellent Kazuya, and also being a very skilled, very experienced Ganon, so... Alright, Moxie. 
If you can hear me, uh, let me get a quick game. I want to see. I just want to see how if I have fear against you. Okay, if you, you, you want to take Moxie? Yeah, because. I don't. I I need to warm it with Kazu, but if Ganondorf, not so much. Ganondorf, it just clicks with me just like that in a second. Oh, that that's the real question, though. Are you going to go FD? I go FD. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll go FD. No, oh, looks like we're going in again. Okay. Like no. Oh no. Moxie's not giving him a third one. No. All right, Ray, get Ray, get out of here. You had your two or three. Oh. Moxie's leaving. Oh. Oh, uh, looks like he can't do another. Anyways. Well, you and I can still do our exhibition, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Get out of here, Ray. I'm not going to cause it, but I definitely will. I'm going to go oh, Ganon. Oh, right? we're going to have a Ganon, Ganon Ditto FD? That's That doesn't count. Who's you want me to go Kimono? What are you doing here? You want well, me to I know go Kimono is, but... I did Kimono, do you want to fight on FD? I'm not going con I need I need to warm up at least like a good minute. But with Ganondorf, I don't require it. I'll fight you, Kimono. Can I Ole? Uh no, we're not gonna be going for much longer. We're just having a, we're having a couple of fun matches. The crew battle is over. Yeah, it's over. Thank you it's guys over. for watching it. Uh be hanging out for a couple more minutes if you want these last few. I guess if Kimono sticks around, the winner of this will be the Ganon who fights uh, Kimono on FD. Uh, Tashin, if you don't mind making that announcement that just for letting the Kazuya is one if they haven't or already. Alright. People don't like the Ganon Ditto. They say it's just a narrow off. It kind of is. It kind of is, yeah. Reversal. Yeah, always, always ready for those. Ah, oh, nice, Sophie. Oh, I'm oh, a jump. Nice. Oh, you. Oops. Oh, wow, that hit. Nice. In his big old dare. Oh, why didn't you roll? You should have rolled the ledge. That would have been a good move. I should have, but I didn't. And you did that. Yeah. yeah. There's our FD match, and, and uh, Kazuya wasn't even here. <laughs> Alright. You, you and Kimono can have at it, then. Alright, Kimono. Last, last match. Let's see, I haven't played a Kazuya in a minute. This this is basically... I'm out of quote-unquote retirement for the time being. Out of retirement, and here I am playing against a Kazuya. Man. There you go. You, you guys happy? You got your FD. Nice up here. Hey, okay. okay, quick pistons. No. no. I didn't get another laser off. 
They're nice. Very nice on me. That's gonna kill me. Nice option select. Mono is the Kazuya that I've been playing with most regularly throughout the week. I think I usually go about it. Nice. Oh, come on. That must be a side B. What happens? No. Yeah, side. Do it. We gotta have one. Join the dark side. Nice side B. I overextended a little bit. Yeah, I'm dead from that. Was that supposed to be a walk off Ganon side? No. I typically don't go for Ganon sides like that. Oh. I'll absolutely go for them if they let me. Okay. I knew that was coming. Where did it reach? Interesting. Oh, I'm not gonna command grab me. You can get one more. I believe in you. Missed the tag. No. That I counts. 147. Basically zero. You got this. Free. Yeah, no. Get the hell. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very not great matchup for Ganondorf. You definitely have to pick your neutral exchanges quite well. Spacing, very important. Always important, yeah. but... Oh, yes. Especially when you can get zero to death. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's the stream. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it here, too, guys. Thank uh, you for joining, Zug. Yeah, thank you for hosting, guys. It was a lot of fun. Was, and uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave the call now. Uh, probably no more streams this weekend. I will likely be doing something with Jack next weekend. If any of you want to come hang out for that. Thank you once again for joining us today. And uh, see you guys next time.